Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm one of the developers working on the VNAS project for the VATSIM network. And today we're going to walk through converting an ASD video map from the old Sector 2 file format to the new GeoJSON file format. We'll begin in the Facility Engineer Toolkit available at fetools.bvartcc.com. We'll click Convert to GeoJSON and upload the sector file containing the old ASDEX video map. We'll select Regions and Convert. Once the file is downloaded, we can extract the GeoJSON file, open QGIS, and drag and drop the GeoJSON into QGIS. We can now see the ASDX polygons being rendered in QGIS. If you want to change the background color, go to Project, Properties, and Background Color. Note that changing this background color has no effect on the final outputted video map. This is just for rendering in QGIS. Next, we'll right click on our regions layer, go to properties, style, load style, and select the Aztec style. Click apply, and you can see that our polygons have now rendered in this red color. This is because the polygons don't have the appropriate ASDEX property type. To fix this, right-click on the Regions layer, open Attribute Table, click on Toggle Editing Mode, and add a new field. The name of this field is ASDEX, and the type is Text. We can leave the length at the default 10. Click OK, and now Go to Edit, Select, Select Features, and click on the Runway Polygon. In the Attribute table, we can see the runways are now highlighted, and we can type Runway into the Aztex column. If we deselect the runways, we can see they're being rendered in the appropriate black color. Next, we will select all of the taxiways. Click on a taxiway, then hold down Control to select multiple polygons. Once the taxiway polygons are selected, go to the Attribute table, change the drop-down to Aztex, and type between single quotes, Taxiway. Then click Update Selected. This will update all selected polygons. After deselecting, we can see that all taxiway polygons are being rendered in the appropriate gray color. Next, we will select all of the aprons. We can also take a look at the attribute table and see that the aprons were previously using the 50-50-50 color in the Sector 2 file. We can scan the list, hold down Control, and click other rows that also use the 50-50-50 color. Once all of the aprons are selected, type Apron and click Update Selected. You can see all the aprons are now being rendered in the appropriate lighter shade of gray. The last type is Structure, and we can simply select all rows that have an ASD type still set to Null. Once the rows are selected, type Structure and Update Selected. We can now see our entire Aztex map is being rendered correctly. Right click and click Export, Save Features As. We can now export these features to a new file. We can uncheck Add Save File to Map and click OK. We now have a new GeoJSON file with the appropriately tagged ASDEX polygons. This new GeoJSON file can be uploaded to the Data Admin website and will be available through CRC in any ASDEX window.